Nothing has dared defy the law of physics. Well, nothing until the United States developed a missile so fast and so unbelievably powerful. This hypersonic missile is developed with unique capabilities and advanced features, which makes it a game changer in military aviation and has effortlessly pushed the boundaries of what we once thought was impossible. This missile has come to change the future of warfare. What are the futuristic designs of this powerful missile? Does it have what it takes to change the future of warfare? Join us as we explore America's new hypersonic missile that breaks the law of physics. The United States has revealed its new hypersonic missile and the timing is nothing short of impeccable. In recent events, the fierce conflict between Iran and Israel has created a lot of tension as some nations stand aside watching the war unfold while others are beginning to gear up their weapons to join in a conflict that might result in something even worse, World War III. However, there might be a totally different outcome to this conflict as the world also has its eyes on the United States, waiting for this nation that is renowned to be at the forefront of technological advancement to make its first step in the resolution of the conflict and restoring global peace. While the United States hypersonic missile will definitely come in handy in resolving any conflict, this nation is not the only one that has taken interest and heavily invested in the development of hypersonic missiles. Russia and China have also made significant progress in the development of advanced weapons. Russia's hypersonic missile, the Kinzhal, is a real power horse that has taken the world by surprise. This technological marvel boasts of an exceptional speed of Mach 10 and a range of 1,200 miles. That aside, the missile has the capability to carry both normal and nuclear bombs. This simply means that it can serve different purposes. It can also be launched from different aircrafts like the 222M3, MiG-31K, or even the modified version of the Su-34. Russia has put these missiles at air bases in two of its military areas. Also, the Kinzhal has been in use since December 2017 and was one of the six new powerful weapons that Russian President Vladimir Putin showed off in March 2018. This missile development was inspired based on the design of the older ground-launched 9K720 Iskander missile with a major difference. It was modified for air launching. It is designed to target both stationary and moving objects like aircraft carriers. The Kinzhal travels at a high speed, which gives it a better chance at penetrating targets compared to slower cruise missiles. However, Russian media often highlight the hypersonic feature of the Kinzhal to make it seem like a new and advanced design but it actually uses standard ballistic missile technology at higher speeds. It is simply a missile without the hypersonic effect. The missile's range is reported as 2,000 kilometers when carried by the MiG-31K and 3,000 kilometers when carried by the 222M3, calculated by adding the aircraft's combat radius to the missile's range. Once launched, it has an estimated range of between 460 and 480 kilometers which is quite similar to that of the Iskander missile. The cost of one KH-47 Kinzhal hypersonic missile is about 10 million United States dollars. The formidable missile became fully operational in December 2017 and was revealed as one of six new powerful Russian weapons by President Vladimir Putin on March 1, 2018. One interesting thing about this missile is that it can be deployed on different aircraft like the MiG-31K, 2160M, 222, M3M, and reportedly the Su-34. 10 MiG-31Ks were ready for action with Kinzhal missiles, and one year after it became operational, aircraft with Kinzhal missiles had done about 89 missions over the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea, and February 2019, two years after, it had done over 380 practice runs with the missile, with at least 70 of them refueling mid-air. Despite the fact that it was developed in 2017, the missile was first unveiled to the public for the first time in August 2019, despite being developed two years ago. On November 2019, a Kinzhal missile was launched in the Arctic, hitting a target at super high speed. In June 2021, another Kinzhal missile was launched in Syria. To remain formidable against the threats that Russia's missile possesses, the United States defense officials have begun to take the necessary steps. Later on, defense officials found out that their current radar systems are not good enough to detect and follow hypersonic weapons. In March 2022, President Joe Biden acknowledged that Russia made use of hypersonic missiles in Ukraine and that they are very difficult to stop. This realization is definitely shocking, 
but trust the U.S. to do something about it. Russia's weapon has caused quite a stir as Chinese analysts have reviewed its performance and duly noted that it is not truly a hypersonic missile because it follows a ballistic path and can't maneuver at hypersonic speeds. This makes it easier to intercept compared to genuine hypersonic missiles. They also criticized its accuracy. After checking out Russia's not-so-hypersonic missile, China also upgraded its previously developed own. The PL-15, also known as the Thunderbolt 15, is a long-range air-to-air missile made by China that uses radar to find and hit targets. It was developed by Kama in Luoyang, China, and was tested in 2011. However, it was only mentioned in Chinese news in 2015. This missile has also been used by the People's Liberation Army Air Force from around 2015 to 2017, where it was deployed using aircrafts like the Chengdu J-10C, Shenyang J-16, and Chengdu J-20. This missile has also been seen on the Shenyang J-11B. This version was developed as a replacement for the older PL-12 missile as the main long-range missile for both the PLAAF and the People's Liberation Army Naval Air Force. In 2017, the United States started making the AIM-260 JATM missile to replace the AM-120 AMRAAM, which is currently used. This new missile is made to fight against the PL-15 and expected to start being used by 2024, while the upgraded versions of the AM-120 will be used in the meantime. The missile is bigger than others, measuring between 3.8 and 4 meters long, with fins made for stealth aircrafts. It uses a special kind of rocket fuel that makes it super fast, reaching over Mach 4 and flying more than 200 kilometers. Compared to another missile called Meteor, it might not be as good at long distance flying, but it's faster in the end. The missile uses a tiny radar to find its target, which can work in different ways to avoid getting tricked. It has a system to communicate with other planes while flying and can find targets on its own too. China showed a version of this missile for sale, called PL-15E, at an air show in 2021. This version doesn't fly as far as the one China uses itself, maybe because of different parts inside. It's like how another missile called SD-10 has a different version for sale compared to the one China uses. The difference is that the PL-15 is the domestic version used by the PLAOF, boasting an estimated range of 200 to 300 kilometers while the PL-15E serves as the export variant with a maximum launch range reduced to 145 kilometers. Amidst all the fast changes happening, everyone has their eyes on the United States and waiting what they'll do next. The way aerial warfare works is on the edge of changing, and every move from the U.S. could make a big difference in this important game. Despite the rivalry, the United States has always been strong thanks to its powerful arsenal of AIM-120 advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles and AIM-9 Sidewinders. These proven weapons have been an important step towards the United States air dominance since 1991 and 1956, respectively, and they've been upgraded over time to keep them up to date with changing warfare. Due to these new developments, the U.S. understands that a lot is at stake and it requires new and advanced weapons for fighting in the air. They have invested a lot of money and resources into the development of hypersonic missiles. Unlike other nations, the U.S. plans to design these new weapons to be small but strong, which would be perfectly deployed by stealth air fighters, and will keep America in charge of the sky. The United States is in the process of developing new hypersonic weapons, and the world is about to witness the dawn of a new military era with these six powerful weapons. First on the list is the AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile, or Chetum. It is a new type of American missile that is under development by Lockheed Martin. It is designed to target enemies that are far away and not visible, and also developed to be better than the AIM-120 AMRAAM missile that the U.S. uses now. The Department of Defense believes that the AIM-260A JATM program is the most important air weapon for both the Air Force and the Navy. It's getting more attention and funding than any other weapon project even more than improving other weapons already being used. This program is different from the long-range engagement weapon that Raytheon is working on. The AIM-260 program started in 2017 because other countries were making long-range missiles like China's PL-15. It's meant to be used first in the U.S. Air Force F-22 Raptor 
in the U.S. Navy F-A-18EF Super Hornet, and later on the F-35 Lightning II and F-15 EX Eagle II, testing phase for the missile started around April 2020 and is still ongoing, however, it is not ready to be deployed. They expect to start making more AIM-260 missiles than the older AIM-161s by 2026. Developing the missiles has been top secret, and they even built a special vault for it at Hill AFB in 2020. The missile will be similar in size to the AM-120, so it can work with existing launch platforms, like the F-22 Raptor. It's supposed to have a longer range than the AIM-160, maybe over 100 miles. According to the Air Force, they hope to start making the missile this year, and it could be used on unmanned aircraft too. Live fire testing of the AIM-260 was planned to start in the summer of 2023. The second on the list is the Long Range Engagement Weapon, or LRU. It is a new idea from the U.S. Air Force for a missile that can hit targets far away, even if they can't be seen, which makes it quite similar to the AM-260 program. Pictures of the preconceived concept shows a big missile with two parts, launched from inside an aircraft like the F-22 Raptor. It is believed that the missile might be too big for the F-22 or F-35, so it might be better for aircrafts like the F-15X Eagle II or B-21 Raider. The defense company Raytheon is working on making this missile. It is different from the AM-260 JATA missile made by Lockheed Martin. The third on the list is the Peregrine Air-to-Air missile. The Goktug program is run by Tubitak Sage in Turkey, and its goal is to create four different kinds of missiles that can be fired from F-16s, as well as future Turkish planes like the Herjets and TFX. These missiles will be the first ones made entirely in Turkey. Bozdegan is a short-range missile that homes in on heat, while Goktagan is a long-range missile that homes in on radar signals. In 2018, both the Bozdogan and Goktogan missiles were tested successfully in flight. These missiles are meant to replace the AEUM-9 Sidewinder and AIM-120 AMRAM on Turkey's fighter planes. They are also planned to be used on Bayraktar Akinci and Bayraktar Kizilema, which are Turkish-made drones. The Bozdogan wvau RM, or Within Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, will have a special heat-seeking sensor that can spot targets from any direction and resist jamming. It will make use of a powerful, clean-burning fuel and an electronic system to aim and fire. The manufacturer of this missile mentions that it will be very maneuverable because of thrust vectoring and also have a special warhead to increase the chance of hitting its target. It'll work with standard military communication systems and is made to be used with a specific missile launcher. On April 14, 2021, the Bazdegan missile was tested from a Turkish Air Force F-16. It hit and destroyed a TEI Simsek target drone successfully. The missile can reach speeds faster than Mach 4. On the other hand is the Gokdogan, which is a long-distance air-to-air missile that can reach targets between 35 to 54 nautical miles away. That is about 65 to 100 kilometers. It's said to perform similarly to the American AIM-120 AMRAAM missile. It is also equipped with a smart seeker that uses radio waves to find and track targets without getting distracted by enemy defenses. This missile also has a special link that allows it to get updated information during flight, giving it the ability to lock onto targets even after it has been launched. Unlike other missiles, this one will use clean burning fuel and an electronic system to launch safely and reliably. It's designed to be very accurate and effective. The Gokdogan can work with standard military communication systems and is made to be used with a specific missile launcher. Let's move on to the modular advanced missile, also known as Mayhem. When the Air Force goes into battle, it makes use of the same kinds of weapons it has been using since the 1990s and early 2000s, with some even dating back to before the Gulf War in 1991. But now enemy defenses are much stronger than they were back then. There's a real risk of enemies shooting down or disabling our high-speed weapons. With more and more advanced radars and weapons in the hands of potential enemies, it's becoming harder to hit well-defended targets. For this reason, the United States has recognized the need for a new kind of precision weapon to improve its ability to strike and discourage potential attackers. General Mark D. Kelly, who leads the Air Combat Command, says we need weapons that match the advanced capabilities of our modern Air Force, like the F-22, F-35, and B-2 aircraft, 
which have stealth and advanced sensors. But right now, these aircrafts are still using weapons designed for older aircraft. Kelly wants new weapons that can make the most of what these modern planes can do. The most formidable of all is Lockheed Martin's Cutta. It is a small advanced capabilities missile. It is being developed due to the United States Air Force for a better kind of long-range air-to-air missile. Unlike most missiles, it is not equipped with explosives inside. Instead, it uses a special technique called hit-to-kill, which means it hits the target directly without exploding. This technique makes it lighter because it doesn't need a heavy explosive inside. There is a picture of this missile in a U.S. Air Force magazine in November 2012. It was shown as a model made by Lockheed Martin, and it depicted how well it would fit inside the F-35 and carry more missiles. The missile was officially talked about in January and February 2017 by General Herbert Carlyle of the USA. The last but not the least is a long-range air-to-air missile, or LRAM. The AGM-158 CLRSM is a high-tech missile that is being developed by DAPRA for the United States Air Force and Navy by DARPA. It is an upgraded version of the AGM-1B JASSM-ER, and it is designed to target threats with more precision than the older Harpoon missile used by the Navy since the late 1970s. The Navy got permission in 2014 to start making the LRASM to fill in until they find a better solution. They needed a missile that could reach farther and be harder to detect than the Harpoon, especially with the growing threat of enemy warships. In 2014, they decided to hold a competition for a new anti-ship missile called OSUW Increment 2, planned to be ready by 2024. This competition is open to all and will start around 2017. This missile is likely to compete against other missiles like the Joint Strike Missile and an upgraded version of the Tomahawk Missile. In 2015, it was officially called the AGM-158C. Unlike current anti-ship missiles, the missile can find and attack targets on its own without needing GPS or other support systems. It's designed to identify and hit moving ships even in tough conditions. The missile has features to avoid enemy defenses and uses advanced technology to locate and attack enemy ships effectively. To find and hit targets accurately, it uses a special seeker system designed by BAE Systems. It also combines GPS, infrared, and other sensors to locate ships and avoid friendly vessels. Multiple LRACMs can work together to plan and execute an attack. The missile can also hit land targets, like the JSSM. That aside, it can be launched from ships or aircraft like the B-1 Lancer. For surface launches, it's fitted with a rocket booster. Lockheed is also looking into launching it from submarines and smaller ships. The U.S. Navy plans to use it on the P-8 Poseidon aircraft too. Some suggest the LRASM could be used for land attacks too by reducing its warhead size to increase range. This way, it could hit targets far inland while still being able to take out enemy ships. With these six aerial titans, the United States remains the forefront of technological advantage and has unrivaled capabilities to defend its skies no matter the advantage that rivals have. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.